Hey everyone out there on the World Wide Web, this is Brian Abbey, and I am here to do another Dear Abbey. Hey, high school hypocrite. Um, know that it's not a name that I necessarily wanted to go with, but uh, that's the way that this young man was feeling, and I appreciate his heart. Um, and uh, sometimes we feel defined by our hypocrisy. We feel like um, we can't serve Christ or share Christ because of the guilt and the shame that we feel um, that our sin has has so uh, captured us. I just would uh, and did remind him that uh, that his sin has not defined him. His Savior has. Uh, that Jesus uh, and Jesus' blood has has now uh, created uh, a new creation in you and that you're no longer defined uh, by the deeds of the past. Um, in fact, Paul says it really well, forgetting what lies behind and pressing on toward the goal to win the prize for which Christ has called us. Christ has called us to share Christ, to share Jesus with, with lost souls and to, uh, to, to glorify Jesus by um, making him known. And know that uh, that there's there's so many uh, examples in scripture of this of, and I would just say bathe yourself those that are struggling with this this idea of hypocrisy understand that that each of us is going to continue to uh, to participate in in sinful things um, but the Holy Spirit will will guide you through um, and pass those things continue to, to be, be launching into the word um, bathe yourself with scripture uh, look at guys like Peter um, who, who denied Jesus, even though he'd walked with them for a couple years, even in the end um, when Jesus was being, um, being tried, uh, Peter, Peter denied the Christ, yet we, we flash forward and see that, that Peter was the rock uh, upon which the church was built. Uh, you look at that Paul, who was a, a killer of Christians as Saul, and, and then when he became a Christian, he became one of the most um, uh, effective uh, evangelists for Christ. Um, and yet in Romans he says, uh, I, I, I keep doing what I don't want to do and I don't do what I want to do. Uh, the Romans 7 passage I call the doo-doo passage. Um, and, and he's saying, I, I'm, I'm doing the doo-doo. Um, and, and yet that doesn't define uh, Paul's life. Know that your life is not defined by hypocrisy, um, but your life can be defined by pursuing Christ and pursuing the things that Christ was pursuing. And that was lost souls. And so I hope that you can, can understand um, God's grace is, is enough, not just for salvation, but um, for that sanctification process as well. And you're not defined by that thing that you did last night, um, but, but give it to God, um, give your life to God, and, and uh, pursue uh, the things of Jesus and uh, the lost souls that Jesus desires for you to pursue for His glory. Um, and uh, you're, you're gonna, your story is going to help a lot of people. Thanks a lot.